Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Duluth, Georgia, outside of Atlanta, Jacksonville, Florida, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. You know how the Democratic Party, they had a sham of a primary, right, where they moved the original primary from Iowa and New Hampshire to South Carolina. Then they wouldn't let anybody campaign in Iowa or New Hampshire. If you did, they would take away your... It was a crazy rigged process, right? Uh, There were ballots where they wouldn't even put people's names on it in certain states. So that's why Bobby Kennedy had to leave and he ran as an independent. And then after that primary, after they got all the delegates for Joe Biden, which are all what they call insider delegates, right? They're establishment people. (laughs) Uh, Then they kicked him out. So they did a coup. They threatened him with the 25th Amendment. So he had to step down. He didn't do it voluntarily. And then they installed Kamala Harris without getting one vote, without doing one debate, without taking one question from the from the press. And that's called anti-democracy, right? That's called uh, that's very close to as as uh, Theo Vaughn says, private so private communism. Because that's the yeah. that's the military industrial complex and the money donor class installing her, and then the media, which they also control, props her up through propaganda to get her elected. So they, here they are. Here is Governor Gavin Newsom, and they're going to be sitting around giggling about that they didn't have a real primary and that this is really undemocratic. Let's watch. How are you feeling about the switch? I mean, <laughs> the switch. <laughs> now just, we went through a very the switch. It's funny. <laughs> how are you feeling? How do you, hey, feel? how you feeling? It's a switch. Do you know what I call fun? Sitting around a table with a bunch of Democratic ops, just having a big laugh at the expense of everything America was supposed to be based on. You know, voting, one man, one vote, democracy, a government responsive to its people. Hey, who needs it? Here we go. Let's let's play it. Let's go. How are you feeling about the switch? I mean, <laughs> the switch. <laughs> now just... we went through a very open process, <laughs> a very inclusive process. Uh, it was bottom up. Ha ha ha! We had an open process. Ah, ha, ha. You suckers. Those hey, Jimmy. Yeah. Do you like how do you like how at the end of the day, it's still going to be a table full of white guys that look like that laughing That's, about it? Yeah. How it works. Such it don't a, matter what your progressive bullshit. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's going to be these dudes that look like the mean frat from Animal House are going to be sitting here giggling about how you don't have no choice about nothing. Curse, who needs a democratic process when you have a gaggle of of a diverse panel of white guys practicing moral yoga with the ethics of the nation? Because that's what they're doing. Here we see Governor Gavin Newsom going into the spider pose. Let's watch that. Here we go. How are you feeling about the switch? The switch. I mean, <laughs> the switch. Now just... we went through a very open process, <laughs> a very inclusive process. <laughs> uh, it was bottom up. I don't know. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. It wasn't any of that. There wasn't an open. It was a closed process by by insiders, by party bosses, insiders, and donors, and billionaire donors. It wasn't bottom up. It was top down. Ha ha ha. It was the exact oh, opposite. It's so funny. We screwed the voters again. Those stupid assholes, just like we did in 2016, just like we did in 2020. And man, did we do it right in their faces this time. And they don't say anything. Isn't it funny? I think bottom up, Jimmy, he means, uh, hey, voter, hey, Democrats, get your face down and your ass up. Yeah, it's <laughs> Uh, you know that. Yes, that's what I've been told to say. Yes, it was, uh, it was, a, it was a blitz primary, I believe, that's is what right. they called it. It's a very, very fast blitz. Yes. I think it was, it was a blink primary, so we call that. Oh, a 30-minute uh, convention. And they all go to the same suit store. I don't know if you noticed that. Isn't that something? They all, hey, why don't we go with a navy blue and a white uh, button down? Okay, yeah. sounds good. I mean, navy go, blue, white to- button down, navy blue, white button down, navy blue, white button down. They it's go like, to reptiles of London's. <laughs> it's a ha. It's like they went to an Oprah show and it was taped underneath their seats. You get a yeah. navy blue button down with a white. You get a navy blue suit with a white button down. Yeah. You get a navy blue suit with a white button down. Oh, I know. It's a thing. It's a thing. Real humans wear. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, between a tweet and uh, another tweet. It's amazing yeah. how it happened. Yeah, it's yeah. been amazing. But it is what is amazing. It's it's amazing how it happened. It's amazing how it just didn't have any democracy to it whatsoever. It's all a joke to these guys. This is the Pod yeah. Save America guys. So Oh, that's that, who the that, most trusted. Yes. The last of the most trusted name in white guys. You know how white guys aren't that cool and shouldn't be talking and whatever? These guys are okay though. They're the good ones. So they started that podcast as a as a reflex to Donald Trump becoming president and they pretended to be the resistance. You see that they're the establishment, right? 
You see that that's exactly what these guys are. And they don't give a F about you. They don't get an F about democracy. These people who are putting democracy on the ballot took it off the ballot. And then they sit. They're doing this in front of a camera. It'd be one thing if they were doing this in text to each other or at a party. They're doing this on camera in front of microphones. This is how they this is how little they think of the people who vote for them. That's how little they think of the people who watch. I don't the, blame do you, ever, them. you ever see the people who actually listen to that show, the Pod Save America show? Yeah. They did they did a live show in New York and Russell Dobular from New Dissonance went with the camera to interview him. There are brain dead zombies. They they sound like Reagan Republicans. They sound like people who would gladly vote for George Bush. There is no class analysis whatsoever they don't give a shit they are the the uh, the the, the, the Yo, suburban white people jimmy they're dressed like reagan youth yes they're fucking dress like it all they've done is take the reagan republican thing and all the stuff that was in the closet with those guys they just do it openly yes that's the only difference it's exact reagan republicans but all their weird dark perversions are like they have a pride flag for it they're just having a big laugh about the fact that the political process was flushed on the toilet like cocaine at the White House. That's what this is. Oh, but, I could have snorted that. I can't imagine they're happy about that cocaine. But as well. long as they're laughing about it, it kind of normalizes it. Nobody should be outraged, right? That kind of makes it okay. Because, it's joy. It's because joy. they're not upset about it, so you shouldn't be either. Yeah, and they look like they know where the money is based on those haircuts and jackets and uh, shirts. Yeah. So if they're not upset about it, you shouldn't be upset about it because you know why? Because you don't actually think for yourself. It's all about how they make you feel. And if they say you should feel okay about it, then you feel okay. Just don't think about it. Because if you thought about it, it might get you outraged. Do you really have to be conspiratorial, Jimmy, just because a round table of four generational Satanists are coming together? <laughs> <laughs> Let's play the And so now, and watch what he says at the end here. Uh, Gavin Newsom, watch this. Is he, how unified everybody is. He says the real amazing thing, because they go, oh, so it was, look, they're all laughing all the way through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, between a tweet and another tweet. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's amazing yeah. how it happened. Yeah, it's yeah. been amazing. But it is, what is amazing is he, how unified everybody is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's next level. Hey, black magic does work. It's amazing how unified. He means the delegates and the people in the party. Yeah. The people who were, when I was inside that convention hall, all the people who are elected as delegates, how unified. There wasn't anybody, there was like maybe 20 people, they call themselves uncommitted. The last time I was at a Democratic National Convention, half the people in that room, I would say, I don't know, eight to 10,000 of those people were against the Democratic establishment. They were Bernie Sanders delegates. Mm. And they wanted to overthrow the people who, the, the the oligarchy. They wanted to overthrow the establishment of the Democratic Party. This time, he's like, everybody's am amazingly unified. They didn't care that they didn't vote for Kamala Harris. They didn't care that nobody got to vote for Kamala Harris. They didn't care. Those people are all, where, I don't know where those people are that were the 2016 Bernie delegates. Where are they? I don't know where they are. I really don't. Maybe they just dropped out of politics because they got so uh, uh, chagrined over it. Maybe that's what happened. But hey, you know what, Jimmy? Mind control works until it doesn't. So here's the problem with this. These guys are firmly in the camp because their lives are going great. Yep. But everybody else is having a hard time. So I've been involved in a religious cult before. I know exactly how it works. This is a cult. It, yeah, of course. And why wouldn't you? This is the most exclusive, best, way better than Scientology. Scientology is like a lower class thing compared to this. So once it don't work for you personally no more, that's when you notice the cracks in it. And because these dipshits have eliminated on purpose the middle class, they have no force field. That's why they have to act all paranoid about popularism. They have to get really worried about it because there's not enough of a force field of middle class homeowners to close their eyes to the real problems like there used to be. Well, I'll play it one more time. How are you feeling about the switch? I mean, <laughs> the switch. Now just, we went through a very open process, and a very inclusive process. Uh, it was bottom up. I don't know if uh, you know that. Yes, that's what I've been told to say. Yes, it was, uh, uh, it was, a, it was a blitz primary, I believe, that's is what right. they called it. It's a very, very fast blitz. Yeah, so. I think it was, it was uh, a blink uh, primary, so we call that. Oh, a 30 minute uh, convention. Yeah, 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 you know, between a tweet and uh, another tweet. It's amazing yeah. how it happened. Yeah, it's yeah. been amazing. But it is, what is amazing is the, how unified everybody is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's next level. Yeah, they even wore the same jackets and shirts. That's how unified they are.
We didn't. We didn't even wear different outfits. That's how together we are. There's less thinking going on there than in a in a, in a Mormon convention. <laughs> Mormons, I mean, they look like fucking Mormons. That's they, what they do. Like. That's what they. That's what I thought about. They look like. It's like a kid who's like 19 years old, and for some reason his name tag says Elder. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever wondered what happened to the legendary Chuck Norris? I recently saw a video you made. I saw it. And I was shocked. He's in his 80s and he's still kicking butt and working out and staying active. He actually is. What's even more shocking is he's stronger, can work out longer, and even has plenty of energy left over for his grandkids. It actually inspired me to stay in shape. Honest. Because, you know what? I want to be in my 80s. I want to be able to still enjoy it, right? I want to be able to enjoy it. Why not? Um, He did this by just making one change. Who did that? Chuck Norris. He says he still feels like he's in his 50s. His wife even started doing this one thing, too, and she's never felt better. She says she feels 10 years younger. Her body looks leaner, and she has energy all day. Chuck made a special video, which I watched, that explains everything. Make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com slash Jimmy or by clicking in the link below this video. It will change the way you think about your health. Once again, that's chuckdefense.com slash Jimmy. And click on the link in the description below and watch the video. You won't believe how simple it is. Just a reminder that the legendary Chuck Norris is a whopping 84 years old and has more energy than me, okay? He discovered he could create dramatic changes to his health, simply focusing on three things that sabotage your your body as we age. Watch this method and his method by clicking on the link in the description box below. That's chuckdefense.com slash Jimmy. Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Duluth, Georgia, outside of Atlanta, Jacksonville, Florida, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets.